niggas been created a monster I'm fresh up out the wound on my mama My father screaming at doctors My boy gon' be a mobster Fast forward Dope Air Magazine exclusive You know, super exclusive, you feel me? Y'all been asking for him Y'all been talking about him Y'all been saying when we gon' get the real nigga yuck on here Well, guess what? Real nigga yuck is here, you feel me? Oh boy, you uh -huh. feel me? You know, we had to we got to jump right into it though. You feel me, Yuck? Thank you for sliding on the dope air. Awesome. You feel me? Thanks for having me, my G. What's so up? it's questions that I gotta ask. You know what I'm saying? So All tell right. me, tell me who the hell is Lino the motherfucking Wino, man? Oh man, that's my uncle, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uncle Lino the Wino. You know what I'm saying? I be having him do my skits and shit sometimes, man. He be hanging around the studio and shit, so we let him get up in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, nah, it's basically a character I came up with uh, in United Ghettos of America. Nah, 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 um, All Out War, the regime shit. Yeah. So we just do these intros and shit, and I had Haji Springer doing it, you know, being the backup dude. So me and Haji used to do skits and shit for the All Out War series, and it became famous. So I just stuck with the character, put him on the uh, High Times, the New Loonies. And yeah. also, he got a, a debut on the mechanic shit. Yeah, that definitely. Thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I heard him talking about MC Hammer in the uh -huh. pants and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we know all about that. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Um, so, I, I, I got to add, this is a personal question for myself. Um, on the album, um, the double album, you know what I'm saying, you released. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, this song on there called Revelations. Now, that's probably one of the, the most heartfelt songs for a nigga like me, and I know it's probably better, you know, because you the artist. Um, what made you go like that personal? Um, you know, like hip hop is, is, you know, expressing, you know, your life, uh, what went down in your life. So, you know, with me, I wanted to paint, paint the picture of exactly what went down, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted to do a movie for my shit. So since I couldn't do a movie, I had to do a verbal movie. So that just me just laying it all out, period, at once. No hook, no nothing, just laying it from the beginning to the end. You know what I mean? So that's how the revelations was. It's basically, you know, it's giving the insight of it's my life, you know what I mean? To touch on, you know, areas where, where rappers are, don't, you know what I mean, touch on. You know what yeah. I mean? They, they act like they superheroes and shit and act like they never went through no shit and never, you know what I mean, suffered and this, that, and the third, they boss ball and shit. So I just, you know, took it to a vulnerable area, you know what I mean, that where everybody can relate to. Because anybody that went through the shit that I'm talking about. Really. Yeah, so, definitely. That's why I went there. Alright, so uh, we know you just dropped the uh, the album. You know what I'm saying? Can you tell tell the fans at home watching this more about the album? Um, there's a part two. Yes, would that be a part three? I mean, how would this? How does the mind of Yuck, you know, work? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the average? How do you knock out your your verses? Ah man, uh, shit. Um, basically, um, I get in the studio and do it on the spot. Period. I never pre pre plan shit. I do it right there on the spot. And um, basically, I hear a cool beat, you know what I mean? And I make the hook first, you know what I mean? Make the hook so I know what I'm talking about. And then I write the song, you know, and then if the song don't need a hook, I just write, you know what I mean? Yeah. Period. But uh, basically, for JJ based on the Bill's story, um, it's basically the prequel to Dug Out, you know what I mean? The Abolation, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to take it back there, you know what I mean? Because there was a lot of missing subjects, missing, missing situations that I didn't really speak on, yeah. you know what I mean? So I just wanted to give them the in depth about, you know, my neighborhood, you know, the legendary, you know, Felix Mitchell, you know what I mean, Lil D, you know, Welcome Home, you know, welcome Black, home. Welcome Home, you know what I mean, a lot of dudes from my neighborhood that's legendary, you know, in the Bay Area, you know, yeah. so I had to just speak on it, you know, my family, legendary, you know what I mean, so this is give people just the insight and the history lesson, you know, because a lot of youngsters were just born when we came out, like a lot of people was born in 95, 98, 99, and they, you know, the new millennials right now, so, you know, that's why they say they ain't heard of, you know what I mean, Biggie and Pop, because they wasn't born, you know what yeah. I mean, so, just giving them a history lesson too, you know, also, so, this is part one, and part two dropping in April, so get ready for that. Alright, so, um, I want, I, I want you to, if you could travel back in time, we had a dope air time machine, what would you say to, a? Uh, I'll say a 17, 18, 19 year old version of yourself. Would you change anything about the path that you have taken? Um, definitely. I tell them <laughs> in the street rule number 4,080, <laughs> record company people are shady. Record company people are shady as shit. If I would have known that coming into the game and just knowing that independent was the best route to be, you know what I mean, and self sufficient. 
know what I mean? I would've did that from the gate, period. But, you know what I mean? It's a lesson learned. And without being at them record labels and, and, you know, going through what I went through, I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have to be independent. You know what I mean? So, it's like, um, it's like before you own a, a, a Taco Bell or, 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 you know what I mean? When you buy into those franchises and shit, they want you to literally work there for a month. You know what I mean? To learn the ins and outs of the shit. So, I just basically learned the ins and outs of the game, hands on. I mean, now I know how to apply it. So it worked for me, you know what I mean? Even though it was like, uh, but it still worked for me. So um, definitely um, just, just wake your game up, you know what I mean? I would have been definitely more uh, 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 gamed up than I was back then. I would have been gamed up how I am now back then, you know what I mean? I'd have been able to do some masterpiece shit, you know what I mean? So <laughs> definitely. So that would have been me telling myself to wake the game up. Yeah. All right. So, um... What ten albums can can uh you can't live without? Ten? Ten. You only get ten. Oh shit, man. <laughs> God damn, man. You only get ten, big bro. Alright, man. Shit. You gotta go with uh All Eyes on Me. You gotta go with uh KRS one, my philosophy. You gotta go with NWA, uh straight out of Compton. You gotta go with um Biggie, um, Life After Death. Gotta go with uh, Mac Dre, Denzel Washington. Gotta go with The Chronic. Gotta go with uh, Scarface Untouchable. Gotta go with Jay-Z, uh, Reasonable Doubt. Gotta go with Nas Illmatic. And gotta go with, uh, ooh. Uh, this is just a fucking Stevie Wonder, like, greatest hits. You know what I mean? All the Stevie Wonder greatest hits. One of them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, uh, will you uh, be doing another United Ghettos of America? Oh, definitely, man. You know, I just got so much shit on my plate, man. You know, um, we doing a movie, man. We actually about to start, you know, getting a cast ready, getting a script ready for the JJ. We based on a real story movie. We doing a book, too. So, the book gonna drop first. Then we drop the movie. So, I'm really focused on that. And then um, after I'm done with that, probably next year after that happened, um, I'll get back into doing the DVDs. That's what's up. Yeah, the DVD definitely was some uh, real <laughs> shit. That was, that was history I'm making. You know two what I'm of them right now. I'm sitting on two of them right now that I could just release, but that ain't the focus right now. You know what I mean? Because when I release my shit, I do it with soundtracks. Yeah. So I don't just throw the DVD out there. So I had to put some more music together. I got to do more other shit. You know what I mean? For I'll get to that though. I gotta focus on the soundtrack of the real movie. You know what I mean? Get that together. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of shit I gotta focus on. So I get to it in the Thug Lords album, me and Bo, uh, Looney's album, me and Numbs. Like a lot of shit on the table right now, but I get to it. What advice would you give to the younger generation right now? Um, stay independent. You know, um, you can get it yourself. Everything is at the push of a button. You don't need no record label help. You know what I mean? Because everything's on the internet now. You know what I mean? It ain't like they really doing some shit that you can't do yourself. So uh, stay independent, man. And um, yeah, fuck the 360 deals, period. Because at the end of the day, it's a slave deal. Back in the day, we owned our publishing. We got all our show money. We got all, if we got booked by an agent or some shit, we got all our money. You know what I mean? The agent gonna get his percentage or whatever, but not no record label. Yeah. Period. So it's a different game, man. So uh, we own all our merch. You know, so just with that fucking, I, I stay independent. So stay independent is my best, period. All right, what's the next move for uh, Smoke A Lot? Like I said, man, we're doing a book based on the Bill Story book. We're doing uh, the movie based on the Bill Story movie. We're looking at John Single to be the uh, director. Um, shit, uh, I got the glass company, Smoke A Lot Glass. You know, we got bombs and pipes and all types of shit. I got the vape pen company, Don Vape. Got hella bay pins and shit popping, torches and shit, everything, roll mats, um, smoke like radio broadcast, I mean podcast, we're gonna bring that back, but first we're doing radio first, we're gonna go on the radio, I, I'll let y'all know what station we're gonna hit first, but we're definitely gonna take it to the radio, then we're gonna bring the podcast back, um, shit, Thug Lords, Loonies, Regime, you know, I bought the whole mob back together, Fast Bossy, Gonzo, Lil' Key, Mad Max, you know, along with the other mob, other rest of the mob, so we're gonna do an album with that, you know what I mean, we'll bring that all back, so it's a lot of shit that, that'll do, you know, right now, period. Smoke a lot of records, man, it's gonna be lit. Alright, any last words for the people at home watching this? Yep, go get my motherfucking album, nigga. That part, support the mob, 
nigga. Go get that JJ based on the Ville story part one and part two dropping next month, man. Yeah, you know I mean support real rap. Yeah, you know I mean real rap, not fake shit. Not I ain't gonna say mumble, whatever. Not what's going on right now in that real authentic from the cloth, my nigga. If you from the cloth, you're gonna love this shit, man. It's gonna take you back. It's gonna give you the memories. You know what I mean? When you was really doing your thing and doing your one-two, man. So go grab that JJ based on the Bill story, man. Follow me on Instagram at Regime General. Follow me on Twitter at The Real Yuck Mouth. And follow my motherfucking website for the latest and the greatest, man. SmokeAlotRecords.com, man. Log in and keep mobbing. Yada, boy. Dragon Game, bang, bang. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I'm from the jet, so it's based on the feel story. JJ, I made my best friend steal from me. Got respect from OGs, they'll kill from me. Lil D was a millionaire at 18, so I'm trying to stack a meal before I hit 18.